it's your boy Nangun in the house back with another bang on video where ladies and gentlemen we've got more news about Arsenal for you guys so stay tuned and uh, you know uh, relax chillax and make sure that you have your popcorns out because I think everyone has actually pulled the trigger against Unai Emery after the Sheffield United game let's move on to the first news Emmanuel Frimpong has actually spoken about Unai Emery's tactics against Sheffield United he says he has actually tweeted these things. First tweet, change fullbacks, play holding for fuck's sake. Emery, how many times, man, with your greasy hair? Next, he says, for fuck's sake, look, I appreciate Chambers is trying his very best as a centre-back, but don't you think we need more than that to compete? And uh, finally, he says that I'm done with Emery. I'll, I'll speak to it. I'll speak about it. Moving on. Arsenal legend Ian Wright has slammed Unai Emery's suggestion that his toothless side didn't deserve to lose at newly promoted Sheffield United. He says, We did not deserve to lose and we conceded a lot of corners in the first half and they scored in one action. Above all, we have to improve by not allowing balls like that. When we have our opportunities to attack, we created more chances than them but did not score today. We deserved more from the game but they have considered the least goals in the Premier League and it was going to be difficult if they scored first we tried in the second half created three good chances to score highbury legend in in right then he tweeted that he, he really said we didn't deserve to lose kmt i think uh, yes we did not deserve to lose that game but let's let's move on let's move on granit shaka has blasted patri sabra for spouting bullshit about the frenchman branded arsenal as babies well Shaka said, a lot of people speak too much. I have a lot of respect for him because he was a great player. But you have to be careful what you say in those situations as well. It's not only him. It's a lot of people. They speak a lot of bullshit about us. It's always the same. For me, it's strange because they were in the same situation as us. They were players as well. Maybe sometimes it was good. Sometimes it was not good. But if you speak every weekend, every game bullshit like this, they don't get respect about what they say. Truly said, truly said. Moving on. Arsenal fans have got... Hashtag Emery out trending on Twitter, claiming they never would have lost under Arsene Wenger like they did against Sheffield last night. Well, on Twitter, there are certain things that we've said, we've seen. Uh, Arsene Wenger would never have lost like that. Again, another one said that Arsene Wenger would never make Shaka a captain. Arsene Wenger would never have started Willock while Sebayos is on the bench. Wenger would never have played such a boring game. Una Emery has killed Arsenal completely. Hashtag Emery out. Another tweeted, why Saka? Why Willock? Why Shaka? Why Socrates? Why not Holding? Why not Ozil? Why not Laka? Why not Bellerin? Why not Tierney? Why not Ceballos? Why not Torreira? Fuck Unai. Hashtag Emery out. You guys, you guys, uh, I don't understand why you guys are are like that. I mean, I don't, und I don't understand why the hell do you want Emery out? Why is hashtag Emery out? I mean, do you think that Unai Emery is definitely in his second season is going to make Arsenal invincibles? What, what, what are your requirements from Una Emery. You think on the road, on those freaking 38 games, we were never going to lose any game? Or is this a strategy? Even if even if you lose one game, you believe that ha it, it ha Emery has to move out? Then who, who's going to replace them? You guys? Who's going to replace them? Yes, you're going to talk about Max, uh, Max, Massimiliano Allegri. You're going to talk about some certain bigger, bigger names that can definitely come in to actually make sure that, you know, uh, Emirates is definitely uh, uh, getting that uh, same brand of football that Arsene Wenger was supposed to give or probably an attacking-minded football. My friends, calm your horses down. I really don't understand why you guys are all all about Emery. And I'm really telling you guys, I'm, I'm be prepared for more games that Arsenal will lose on their way. It could happen. It's a sport. You can win, you can lose, you can draw. There are only three outcomes. You can win, yes. You're going to draw because there are oppositions you know, who can uh, be weak defensively. Sheffield weren't. And probably, probably the uh, the three games that are left in the Premier League before the next international uh, break, we've got Leicester, we've got uh, uh, Wolves, we've got Crystal Palace. Do you think that's going to be easy as well? We may lose one of those games as well. So what are you going to do? Hashtag Emery out. And when Emery is given the full uh, full season, if he's given the full season by uh, the management, what are you going to say? Kroenke out? Vinay out? Raul out? You guys are turning your back. You see, we remember we all are in this together. So calm your horses down. Watch out for the next whole season. This whole season, I'm sorry. This whole season. And you may find out what exactly Una Emery is can be uh, uh, can be 
incapable of. You're just jumping right into the conclusions. I mean, this is too premature and I really don't understand why you guys are doing that. Moving on. Unai Emery did not pull any punches while analyzing Arsenal's defeat to Sheffield United. You know, what he said was, the chance for us for Pepe was the key. Because if they score the first goal defensively, they are a very strong team. Pepe is improving, but the next step for him is to score. Usually, he's going to score chances like that, but tonight he didn't take his chance. True, isn't it? Well, Arsenal fans destroyed Mike Dean after he denied two penalties and then booked Freddie Lundberg. Well, <laughs> Arsenal fans really, really don't like what exactly what they saw. So... Let's see if that's going to happen or not. Former Arsenal striker Olivier Giroud is being eyed up by Crystal Palace. Well, it could happen in January. Well, Roy Hodgson is looking for a striker and it looks like Giroud is definitely not starting for Chelsea uh, since August. He hasn't and has already spoken with Frank Lampard about a possible January move and it's looking like he's definitely trying to move. He wants to stay in the Premier League but probably he'll meet the same fate as Gary Cahill. Well, let's see what's going to happen. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has claimed that he is confident Arsenal will achieve Champions League football next season. He says, I feel great. I'm feeling free on the pitch. I don't know if it's the best form of my career, but it's a good one. So I will try to keep the level up. I'm sure we will achieve the top four. That's the goal. That's our aim. Well, touch wood if you do that. I mean, this is unbelievable. I would really want to see... See, I mean, unbelievably, I would want uh, Arsenal to make sure that they make into the top four. And if uh, I think uh, Aubameyang is not alone in this, everyone is. So let's back him. Let's back Arsenal as well. Well, already the bookies are have already jumped the gun to make sure that Emery is out and some other managers who could, uh, you know, against the odds can make it. And uh, I mean, the the lineup is really good. Mikel Arteta, Patrick Vieira, Nuno Espirito Santo, Maxi Allegri, Rogers, Brendan Rogers. Freddie Lundberg, Silvino, Thomas Tuco, Deschamps, Henri, Gerard, Benitez, Eddie Howe, and Wilder, Chris Wilder also make it into uh, could make it into uh, Arsenal and after Una Emery is sacked. So I think the stacks will obviously get high because obviously the fans turn on uh, your manager so anything can happen. Well, Eddie Nketiah saves the day for Leeds United. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, scored the equaliser against Preston North End and that header was unbelievable and obviously, obviously it took a lot, lot of Leeds uh, United fans to actually cheer him up and definitely made sure that Everything will definitely be good. Saul Campbell has been appointed the South End United manager and signing a deal until the end of 2021-2022 season. He replaces Kevin Bourne in the dugout and after he left the last month with caretaker boss Gary Waddock taking charge of the recent games. All the best, Saul. May you prosper in whatever you do. Danny Ceballos has called up for the Gunners to stand up after the defeat to Sheffield United. He said yesterday was not the day but the show must go on and we have to put our mind on Thursday. This league is long and we keep fighting. Gunners always stand up. Up. Well, this is really great to see that and if, if we guys get that and it will be really, really awesome. Well, these are the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the news views about um, Arsenal you'll get in this channel. So make sure you subscribe and be a part of this community. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.